From Manchester to Fulham, the new football season kicks off in just a few weeks' time, but the battles on the pitch will be nothing compared to that between Sky, who has long held a tight grip on football in the UK, and BT, the telecoms giant, looking to muscle in on its territory with its shock billion pound investment in sports rights. This is a big bet for BT, whose shareholders do not like big spending and whose TV service has so far been disappointing. And it has already started to shake up the market with the offer of free, bundled sports for its broadband customers. Our UK business is a very important business for us uh, and we think that sport uh, and sports channels uh, is a great way of growing that business. It will get people, get customers to look at us in a new way, it will attract some new customers that might not have uh, otherwise come to BT and it's a good reason for existing customers to buy some more products and to stay with us. The share price is doing okay so the city seems to have responded positively so far, we'll see, it's early days I think. In terms of around the country, uh, awareness I is pretty high of, of what we're doing, we've had a big campaign out there and I think it's making people look at the company, look at BT differently. Sky, for its part, is gunning for BT's own core customers in broadband, where BT still leads the market. It has responded in kind with aggressive offers designed to camp determinedly on its rival's turf in internet provision and connectivity. From our point of view, we've always had competition over the years, whether it's been ESPN, Satanta, ITV Digital, there's always been competition. What competition has done for us each time has, has made us strive to improve even more. But what I would say is, as we enter every single football season, we're always looking to improve upon last year's coverage anyway. This is a high stakes game, given how much football rights in particular have become inflated in the last two decades. While both try to play down the contest, the battle has already become slightly less than sporting, with each side trying to score points in a battle for viewers with lavish marketing, celebrity endorsements and big giveaways, as well as accusations of marketing skullduggery. However, this contest is about much more than just sports, which has become a bit of a smokescreen in a wider battle for telephone and broadband customers in so-called triple or quad play bundles. BT is investing 2.5 billion in upgrading its network to high speed fibre. Sports are just the carrot to bring in the customers to its network. This is a response to Sky having the strongest growth in the broadband market um, and, and winning a number, of, uh, a number of customers off BT. And do you think ultimately this is a gamble which will pay off for BT? I think it will be very challenging for BT to justify the full cost um, in terms of recovered, uh, recovered broadband subscribers or upgrades to fibre, etc. Um, but it is worth saying that it doesn't have to make a major difference between its broadband subscribers to, uh, to hit its financial forecasts. Um, and the outlook for BT is very positive, um, particularly due to the, the success of fibre, um, and only recently Sky has started promoting fibre much more strongly, um, and that's very good for BT as they earn extra wholesale revenues from that. Bundled offers can bring higher margins and lower customer churn, and have caused a convergence in a multi-product middle ground where Sky and BT are coming from opposite ends of media and telecoms. Whether or not either will be challenged in their core markets is still the question, however, and this will depend on whether BT's big gamble can pay off or whether Sky can shrug off free sports on a rival channel. My broadband colleagues sit separately, but of course we work really closely together. What I do know is since 2006 we've become the fastest growing ISP in the UK, we're the biggest triple play provider, so we work really closely. What it's enabled us to do now as well with things like Now TV, with Sky Go, has enabled us to have a look at fresh packaging ideas to go out and reach new customers. There are plenty of games to be played both on and off the pitch before it is clear who is winning this expensive battle for the multi-product customer. And many shareholders will be much more interested in that score than they will be Palace versus Fulham on a Monday night. Daniel Thomas, Financial Times in London.